Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I want to give you just a tiny, tiny sneak peek or just, you know, just show you a little bit of what I've been knitting this couple of weeks, this past couple of weeks. And this is what I've been working on. And it's not my pattern, it's a um, pearl soho pattern. But I think that this is kind of like a review of the pattern. And also I just wanted to show off this beautiful yarn. This yarn I got in my knit crate and I'm sure you've seen me unboxing it and I looked the, I think it came with a cardigan pattern or like a cape pattern and you were supposed to hold the yarn double and I think this is such a beautiful yarn to hold it double and get it all mixed up all the little all the shades mixed up and I thought this would be amazing and I love it so this scarf is called the jasmine scarf and you can find it free on Pearl Soho website. And they also have a video on how to do this stitch. And I will give you, I will show you how I, how I do it myself because I think I do a little trick because I'm knitting continental style and maybe it's helpful for some of you. But I started with a little bit of stockinette here and then I went into the stitch. And this hasn't been blocked. Obviously you could wear it like this or you could block it out and these these um, drop stitches would spread out like this but I have to say I'm not that crazy about knitting this stitch because it takes so long and you can see I've made a mistake here because you always have to count I made a mistake here because you always have you always have to count and you always I don't know it's like you could watch TV while you're while you're doing it but you can't really pay attention so you have to watch a program that is not that <laughs> interesting this is the yarn I wind all my skeins in bowls like this because I don't own a yarn winder I did a video on how to how to um, wind your yarn without a bow winder and without a uh, what do they call it I can't it I, I've got a blank memory now anyway you know what I mean but this is this is the um, Jasmine scarf from the Pearl Soho website you also find it on Ravelry and I'll give you links down below and I just want to show you how I work it now um, you get you get this specific instructions on the on their website and also you could download I can't remember what language I think it might be Danish I can't remember you could download as a PDF on Ravelry but you would have to go to where, to their website to get the English version but this is how I do so I'm gonna pearl as many as the pattern tells me to and then I'll show you how we do the wrong side of this stitch. So this stitch, you work it on two rows, the wrong side and the right side, and you just keep repeating those two rows until you finish your scarf. But I got to the first, so I've knitted six here, and then I'm gonna pull, put my yarn, I hope you can see, with the yarn forward, I'm gonna put my needle through this stitch and I'm not gonna just purl it I'm gonna wrap it once wrap it twice oops that didn't work okay let's start again so I put my needle through wrap it once wrap it twice and then I hold it with my thumb here and put it out and it makes this like triple stitch in one and then you knit as many as it tells you and then you have to wrap it again so put your needle through wrap once wrap twice hold it with your thumb and pull the yarn through and then you knit again as many as it tells you and you wrap again two times pull it through knit as many stitches as it, as it tells you and 
and wrap it again and continue this until the end of your row and I'm going to speed this up so that was the first row on the wrong side and now I'm going to show you how to do the drop stitch on the right side and I I tried to do it a little bit the way that they showed in their video but I found that I kept dropping the stitch too much and it would come undone and then you know it just made a mess out of things so this is how I this is how I decided to work and it works perfectly you start knitting until you get to that weird three stitch in one and I'll show you what it looks like on the right side let me just get there so this is what it looks like you see like three stitches in one and what you do is you just drop those three stitches which is going to be a stitch and this is the stitch that you dropped and they say just leave it there and continue knitting but mine I feel like it's coming undone so I put my thumb over it on this side like this and I just knit four stitches and then you want to come with your left needle and pick it up like this and then knit it for the other side we do it this way you slip four stitches then this is your triple stitch drop it it's right here this won't come undone because we don't need to knit so the work won't stretch you just move those four stitches back to your left needle then take this stitch that you dropped put it on your left needle like this and then you knit all of them so starting with this one that we slipped oh, just knit it knit the other and then knit the three stitches that we have here in the middle in other words knit to the next triple stitch and this is our next triple stitch you can see it here it's just like I don't know that's what it looks like so what we're gonna do next again we're just gonna drop it hold it with our thumb on the right needle and knit the four stitches so you can you can see why I said this is like a slow stitch because it takes quite long quite a long time so if you don't have patience maybe this is not the one to go for anyway with our left needle we pick up our drop stitch and we knit it then we slip four stitches on the right needle drop our triple stitch move the stitches back pick up that drop stitch and knit it and knit to the next triple stitch and I find that this way I won't lose my stitch it won't move down a few stitches and it's still fast enough for me to work it but yeah this is the jasmine scarf by pearl soho i will give you links in the description and i hope this video helps a continental knitter like me but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in my next one bye